Hi, this is Dr. Nick P, and this is Interjections 90. The interjection today is Hocus Pocus. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. As an interjection, uh, it is a phrase used by stage magicians as a magical incantation. All right, what is an incantation? An incantation is a combination of repeated words, often repeated a number of times because they are thought to have power, perhaps calling on spirits. In most cases, it would probably be evil spirits. Let's continue. Uh, hocus pocus as a noun means something that is nonsense, trickery, or superstition. All right, let's continue. Uh, the term hocus pocus seems to be a fake incantation, so not really a real one. Uh, by conjurers or jugglers known today simply as uh, a magician, which were chanted while performing tricks to make it sound more mysterious or mystifying and possibly used as a distraction too, just before they were going to do the trick. All right, let's continue. The term has been used since the 1620s. Some believe the term may come from a perversion of the blessing in mass during the Eucharist. Uh, here is the line, hoc est corpus meum, which means this is my body. So in the mass, uh, the most important part of the mass, you know, when the priest is turning, uh, you know, the, the wine and the, like the bread uh, into the body and blood of Christ, uh, that is the Eucharist. That's what they mean by that. So before, remember many, many years ago, especially at this time, all masses were still in Latin. So at that time in the mass, they would speak these words. Hoc est, hoc est, you know, this is, this is body, this is my body. So that's what it meant in Latin, which means this is my body. Okay. Uh, this was first suggested by Archbishop Tillotson, or perhaps it is just a coincidence, because it's not a lot of evidence to back this up 100%, but he's the one that suggested it. Uh, and it does seem, the words do seem to be very, very close. Is it possible that they, you know, they just wanted some words that sounded like something from Latin, and this is one of the most common ones they were hearing, and they kind of, they kind of mixed it a little bit. So hoc est corpus sounds a lot like hocus pocus. You know, if you just kind of reverse the corpus, so you know, it 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 sounds like it, quite similar. All right, let's continue, and we got five examples to show just how we use this. Here's the first one. Okay, hocus pocus, ta-da! So this would be, you know, as a trick is done. So as a magician is doing a trick, it, he, do, he usually says the word hocus pocus before he's about to do, you know, the main part of the trick. All right, let's continue. A famous juggler who called himself hocus pocus, so that's not his real name, that's the name that he used, uh, used to say these words performing a trick, hocus pocus, tontus, talontus, Vade Celerita Jubio, which really didn't mean anything. He kind of just made it all up, again, to sound more mysterious, more mystifying. Uh, you know, it's better for the performance. All right, let's continue. Uh, number three here. Most magicians often say hocus pocus before performing a trick, right? And uh, in the old Christmas animated movie, Frosty the Snowman, the magician uh, named his rabbit Hocus Pocus. And of course, he would say Hocus Pocus before doing a trick as well. All right, and the last one is really just to show how sometimes we use Hocus Pocus as a noun. Uh, don't believe the economic numbers reported by the government. They fudge the numbers, means they change them around so much. Uh, this is all Hocus Pocus. It's like they're playing a trick on the people. Uh, that's the way we would hear it used as a noun. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.